Welcome to week number two of the Mystery Amigurumi. Let's get started right after this. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today's tutorial we're going to go through part number two of a four week series of doing a mystery amigurumi. What is this project at this time? I'm not telling and many people really do not know what they're up to and we're going through all the different components and at week number four you're gonna find out what this mystery is and then you'll be able to put it together. So this is a, a great deal of fun. I think it's kind of a neat that you don't really know what you're crocheting. Within today's tutorial we're gonna do parts six, seven, and eight. There's three different components. We're going to need two of the first one, one of the second, and then we're gonna need two of the next one on the other side. So today's tutorial is a really kind of a quick one. Uh, there's not too much work involved in this. Um, let's just quickly review the yarn and the hook and if you are just joining us for the very first time we do have a week number one uh, program already out. So you can just go back and review that if you would like to follow along as well. So if you would like a copy of this uh, diagram and all of the instructions please go to the more information link of this video and you can get access to that. There's a downloadable PDF that you can use on your mobile device. You can also print it if you wish to check off the boxes as you go within the pattern. So let's just quickly review the yarn. Within today's project I'm going to be using Karen Simply Baby and I'm using a four millimeter crochet hook and that's the size G if you wish. Now there was multiple different choices that you could use in order to do that and that was on episode number one. So this is what I'm using on camera and this makes for a really interesting look. Because you don't know what it is um, it's kind of hard to determine what colors you need but you need to take a chance and see how it's gonna go from that point. This is part number six and we need to make two of these. What are they? Hmm, bowling pins? Hmm. Are they a tail? Are they a leg? Are they a neck and a body? Hmm. What is it? So today's tutorial we're going to reveal what this, well we're not so this is part number six. We're gonna need two of these. What is it? Is it a body with a long neck? Is it a body with a head? Is it a tail? Yeah, I don't know what it is. And but it's going to be a lot of fun and we need two of these. So we, you, for this particular project you're going to need a stitch marker. You can kind of see that I carry my stitch markers all the way through and I kind of leave it to the very end and then I pull it out at the end just like so. So you're going to need a stitch marker and you're going to need your yarn and let's start going through the instructions now. Okay, round number one, part six. So part six, we need to make a magic ring. If you don't like to make magic rings just substitute with however you would prefer to do it. So you just wrap it over your hand twice and I showed how to do this more slowly in episode number one. So by this time you probably should be more uh, comfortable with it. So let's begin. We are going to do eight single crochets into the magic ring. So just going into the center of the ring and crochet, single crochet eight times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and before you go any further put in that stitch marker just like we did on the first week number one. Put in that stitch marker just leave it hanging inside there and then therefore you'll know which hook or you'll know what stitches your stop and start. Put your crochet hook back into that last stitch and I want you now just to grab the, the tail of the magic ring and just pull everything nice and tight. And we're gonna work in a continuous round and this stitch marker will allow you to be able to count. So that's round number one. Okay, round number two it says to increase times eight. Increase if you remember from part number one is that each stitch is going to get, uh, is gonna get two single crochets. So when it says increase it means that's two single crochets. So each one of these going all the way back around to the stitch marker will be two single crochets in each. We're starting at the very bottom at the, at the ball shape of the the shape that we're doing so we're getting this part to be bigger right off the bat in order to form that. So two single crochets into each. Okay and you go all the way to the last stitch marker one and you put two into that one. One and two and remember on the very finals that we're doing this we wanna move that stitch marker up. So just pull it through. 
So just grab that stitch marker, pull it through underneath that stitch and that'll mark it so that you know what is the last one for next time you're coming around on this. So let's move up to round number three. Round number three says single crochet increase times eight. So the first one is going to be a single crochet and then the next one is gonna be two single crochets and that's your increase. Okay, so the repeat pattern on this whole one is that you go, one is gonna be one single crochet by itself, the next one will be two single crochets. Okay, so the next one is one and two. Continue to do that same thing going all the way around and then move up your stitch marker to get ready for round number four. I'm just finishing up round number three so I'm just continuing my same pattern and because of the way I started the final one will always have two single crochets into the same one so that it'll end with an increase stitch and then we just grab the stitch marker and move it up. Let's move along to round number four. Round number four is super easy. One single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So one single crochet into each. I'll meet you back up at the end. Please move up your stitch marker. We'll get ready for number five together. Let's begin round number five. Round number si five says two single crochets and then an increase and then you repeat that eight times. So the first two are going to be one single crochet into each and then the next one is an increase. So there'll be two into the next. So that is the repeat pattern. So it's one single crochet, one single crochet and then the next one will have two single crochets. Please do that same patterning going all the way around. Move up your stitch marker and we'll then do rows, uh, rounds number six through ten. Okay, let's start round number six through ten and so there's a total of five rounds here. So rows number six, seven, eight, nine and ten. One single crochet into each. Move up your stitch marker each and every time so you don't lose count and please do rows from six to ten now and I'll meet you back up and we'll start row number eleven together. Okay, rounds number six through ten are now done. Let's start on round number eleven. So it says two single crochets and then a decrease. So the first ones will be two single, cro one single crochet in the next two. Okay, so one and two and then it's gonna be a decrease. So you go in, pull through, go into the next one, pull through. So you have three loops on your hook, pull through all, all three. Okay, so that was a decrease. So the repeat pattern is that there's gonna be two single crochets in a row and then there'll be a decrease. So one and two and then pull through both. Please do that same patterning going all the way around for round number eleven. Move up your stitch marker and let's get on to number twelve after that. Let's go on to round number twelve. Round number twelve is one single crochet into each all the way around. So just one single crochet into each stitch. Move up your stitch marker and get ready for round number thirteen. Okay, round number thirteen is very simple. One single crochet into the first one and then it's a decrease in the next one. So one and one. Okay, and pull through together. So the repeat pattern is one single crochet by itself. Decrease is the next one. Please do that same patterning going all the way around. So one single crochet and the next one is a decrease. Do that all the way around. Okay, let's review fourteen and fifteen both the same. One single crochet into each all the way around. So once you get fourteen done just move up your stitch marker. Do round number fifteen as well. So fourteen and fifteen are one single crochet into each all the way around. Okay, rounds fourteen and fifteen are actually done and I want to put some light stuffing into this section here. So it's gonna be easier to do it now than it is to wait until the tube is bigger. So what I want you to just do is grab some stuffing and stuff it relatively lightly but you want it kind of firm too. But if you start seeing your stuffing through um, the stitch work then you know it's way too much. You can always remove stuffing at the end of it uh, by sticking your hook through random spots in order to pull out some more stuffing but it's harder to add it in if you don't have enough without having to rip apart your project. So just stuff your, it's like a ball shape at this time, just give it a bit of a fluff. Okay and that's all I'm gonna put in for now. I'm kind of feeling the difference. I think there's more in this one here. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more. So let's move on and we're gonna go for rounds number 16 next. Round number sixteen it says to put two single crochets in a row and then a decrease. Okay, so the first two are gonna be one single crochet in each and the next one is gonna be a decrease. So we're getting even smaller. Okay, that's why it's better to put the stuffing in before you started this. So it's two single crochets in a row 
and then a decrease. And if you look at the other shape that we're doing, this is a decrease one here. If you look at the other shape here, you'll notice that it's kind of more narrower in this spot right here. And so that's what we're kind of doing at this particular point. So please do that same patterning going all the way around for number 16. Okay, round 17 and 18 are both the same, just one single crochet into each stitch going all the way around. So do this for rounds number 16, or sorry, 17 and 18. And I'll see you back here in just a moment. Now we're ready for round number 19. In 19 we're gonna start increasing and getting a little bit bigger. So we're going to do the first one as an increase. And the next one is, sorry, the first one is a single crochet and then the next one is an increase. So just single crochet and then increase. So the repeat pattern is single crochet and increase. Please do that all the way around. Now we're ready for rounds number 20 all the way to 23. That's four rounds and it's just one single crochet into each going all the way around and just mark it up and then after that we have round 24 which is just simply a uh, finishing off. Um, oh sorry it's not. We still have a little bit more to go after that. So rounds number 20 to 23, four rounds of single crochet and I'll meet you back for round number 24. Okay, before we go on to row number 24, I want you to stuff what you already have here. Now we've already got the kind of the main ball stuffed. Again, just kind of lightly stuff it. Putting more in. Okay, I'm happy with that. Put our hook and let's begin round number 24. So round 24 it says in, uh, eight single crochets increase times two. So what we're going to do is that we're going to go around and single crochet eight times in a row. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, seven, and eight and then it's an increase. So this one has two single crochets into it and then do it again. So let's count eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and eight and look where the stitch marker is. It's the next one and this is the last one which is your increase. So that completes off round number 24. Move up your stitch marker and let's begin and we're gonna go rows 25 all the way to 30 which is a total of six rounds and we're gonna start that in just a second. I just gotta fix this. Okay rounds 25 to 30 all we just need to do is one single crochet in each. It's a total of six uh, revolutions. Please check it off on the box and then just continue to go every time you do a round just check it off on the box. So rounds number 25 all the way to 30, one single crochet into each. Let's begin round number 31. 31 has two single crochets and then a decrease. So then round number 31. So the first two are single crochets and then a decrease for the next one. Please do that same patterning of going all the way around. So two single crochets in a row and then a decrease and have your stuffing available because we're gonna be coming to a conclusion on this part soon. Okay, before we begin round number 32, I want you to stuff again on what's already, kinda just fill it up right to the top. So please do that before we start round number 32. Okay, round number 32, we are going to start off by doing one single crochet into the first one and then the, and the next one it will be a decrease. So that's your repeat patterning going all the way around. So this one's a decrease. So the next one is a single crochet. Oops, I dropped the ply there. Try it again, single crochet. And then the next one is a decrease. So please do that same patterning going all the way around for round number 32. Okay, the final round is number 33 and it's a decrease times five. So the next uh, it's just gonna be keep decreasing all the way around. So just put two together. Okay, so every other one, every one is being a decrease. And then what we're going to do is then you're gonna fasten off leaving an extra long tail on your project and we're gonna use that tail later. And, and please do this all the way around so it's a decrease. And all the final touches in the end can be done at that time. Okay, so I've gone all the way back around. I can see the stitch marker. So I'm just going to just trim my yarn. Maybe about two feet long. I don't know if I need that much but I'm going to anyway and just pull it through. 
and then that concludes that, that one off here. So what, now I have two of these and so you'll have to do a second one and uh, what are these? Hmm, I don't know. So you have to move on. Let's go on to uh, part number seven of the mystery crochet along. Okay, let's move along to part number seven. And part number seven is just only one that we need and it looks like this and there's only 12 rounds. So this, this one's gonna go really um, quite slowly. I'm not even sure that we actually even need to do any kind of stuffing for this but we'll have to determine that as we go. This might just be a generic note. So let's begin part number seven. So we're going to work with a three and a half millimeter uh, crochet hook a size E. So I've gone down a size in order to do this but I'm using the same amount of yarn so I want this to be nice and tight. Let's uh, begin to do this. So we're going to start with our yarn and I'm using the same yarn and it says to do a magic ring and we've already shown that in one of the, in the starting. And again if you don't like magic rings you can always improvise at this stage. It's all about what you're comfortable with. So once we have our magic ring it says five single crochets into the magic ring. So one, two, three, four and five. And I'm coming up near the, the end of the ball. That's why you see this. Okay, so we have five in there. I want to grab a stitch marker. So I'm just gonna cut another spare yarn off camera. I don't need a really big long one. I probably cut it way too big. Insert underneath the last stitch. Pull through. So that'll show me where that is. Now let's grab the tail of the magic ring and pull everything nice and tight. And let's move on to round number two. Round number two through eight. 2, 3, 8. There's going to be one single crochet into each one all the way around. So I want you to do rounds 2 through, two through, <laughs> 2 through 8 and 2 all the way to 8 for one single crochet. Move up your stitch marker as you get along and as you go completely around. So 2 through 8 and check that off and we'll meet you on round number 9. Okay, two through eight are now done. This is what it looks like and now we're going to go for round number 9. 9 is two single crochets in a row and then it'll be an increase. Okay, so two, um, so two single crochets in a row and then the next one will be an increase. I know everything's really tight on this particular pro uh, concept here. So this one's an increase so there'll be two and then it finishes off with two single crochets in a row and that'll take you back to the stitch marker for round number nine. So there's my stitch marker here with the blue. I like these stitch marker concepts. You know, it's spare yarn and you never have to worry about losing them and they're easy to carry up through. So that was round number nine. Let's go for n rounds 10 through uh, 12 next. Now rounds number 10 through 12 are just one single crochet into each. If I could give some unsolicited advice, it says to stuff lightly. I wouldn't even bother. This like this is so um, you're really not gonna get much stuffing in there and for what I know it's for I wouldn't even bother. So um, tens, uh, 10, 11 and 12 is just one single crochet into each and then we're gonna fasten off and then call that part and we only need one of these for this project for today. So I just finished round number 12 and all I'm just going to do at this point is just uh, trim my yarn. I actually off camera I actually have just that much left of my ball. So I'm just going to just wrap the hook and pull it through the final loop like so and what I'm going to do at this point is that I'm going to um, save this and hold this to the side. So let me just finish this properly. So I'm just gonna pull this through and I'm just gonna hold this to the side because I'm going to use it down in the future and I'm not sure why I'm having so much difficulty. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm just gonna keep this to the side. I want the, the extra long tail because I'm gonna need that. You can pull out your stitch marker if you wish as well and this will then be part number seven. So what is this? Hmm. And now it's time for part number eight. And this is the final part and you're going to need two of these pieces here. I have one already completely done like so and we're gonna need two of those. So let's uh, begin and we're gonna move back to a four millimeter. So the larger size crochet hook again and we'll grab the same yarn and then uh, there's only two rows so this goes really quickly. Let's begin now. Let's begin our first one and we're going to start off with a slip knot. So we're gonna do some chain work this time. So we're going to chain 11. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11. 
So for row number one we're going to start off and we're gonna be on this side of the chain where this finger is we're gonna come down this and we're gonna rotate around the end and come down the other side where my thumb is. Okay so we're gonna wrap right completely around. So it says double crochet fourth chain from the hook. Let's count back. So one, two, three and four in double crochet and I go on the back hump of the stitch. Just makes it a lot nicer finish. So one double crochet and then it says to do three half double crochets in a row for the next so three. So three half double crochets. So one and go into the next one for a half double crochet. Two and go in the next one for a half double crochet. And now it says three single crochets in a row. So one, two, and three. And you have one more stitch left and if you read the instructions it says three single crochets in the last chain which is correct. That's it. This is my last chain. So one, two. See I'm just naturally rotating this because I know it's coming around the corner and three. So just turn it upside down. Okay so we were on this side here. Just turn it upside down and come down the other side. So it said that's why it says rotate piece of the work to the opposite side. So we're just rotating and it says to do three single crochets in a row. So that's coming back on the other side of the chain and we're gonna do three single crochets. So one, two and three. Now the next three are half double crochets. So wrap that hook first and go into half double crochet in the next three. And then it says two double crochets into the last chain. So one and two. And that completes off round number one. Okay? Or row number one. We want to turn this around now. So we're gonna turn it as like it's an afghan or etc. We're just gonna turn it and it says chain one and it says BLO uh, nine single crochets. BLO means back loop only. Okay so below means <laughs> back loop only. So we're just coming into the stitch and remember with your uh, crochet there's always two strands. So the first strand is the front loop and the next strand away farthest away from you is the back loop. So coming onto the first stitch in back loop only and it says back loop only nine. So one and two and three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. Okay and now you should be in the tip of whatever we are and it says three single crochets into the next. Okay so it's still in the back loop only. So one, two, Oops. Two and three. And now it says, so we're just turning it around, just following it around and it says to do nine single crochets in a row and it's on the back loop only. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and you're on the last one for nine. So what you wanna just do then is just fasten this off now and you wanna keep an extra long strand. Okay so you need two of these, these things. Okay and just kinda wrap it around and just leave it in your little box and this will conclude uh, part two or week number two of the mystery um, crochet along and we'll see you again next week as we carry on and uh, these, this one wasn't so bad today. So let's uh, continue, uh, be sure to show us your work in progress, your WIPs, your whips and chains also on Facebook. We'd love to see your creativity and see what you have so far and remember you can do more than one industry because we'll be collecting your photos at the end when everybody's got theirs complete. So until then, we'll see you and have a fabulous day. <laughs>